Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add grace notes to the music that you are creating in MuseScore 3. Let's get started. So you are going to want to have MuseScore open. And I have uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb uh, written here. And in order to add a grace note, let's say you wanted to add a grace note to the uh, first beat of this piece, you will go over to the left hand side of the screen on the palettes, and you're going to find a palette for grace notes. Um, if you cannot find the palette for grace notes, then you can go up to add palettes, and you would find it there, and you could add the palette. Uh, but if your grace notes palette is there, go ahead and drop that down with a small triangle, and you will see you've got several different kinds of uh, grace notes that you can add. If you click more, they have several other ones. Uh, so let's just start with one of these, and what you want to do is you want to uh, select the grace note, hold down your mouse and drag and then drop it on the note that you would like to add it to and the note will turn blue whenever uh, it's selected so and then you will let go so again it's a drag and drop onto the note that you would like and you can see it added a grace note that uh, was the exact same uh, letter so uh, this middle c and in order to change that grace note what you will do is you will select it it'll turn blue and you can drag it up or down and uh, you can also um, you could also use the arrow keys. So if uh, if you have it selected and turn blue, you can push the up arrow and it will go up by half step, or the down arrow and it will go down by uh, half step. And so uh, that's the easiest way to add a grace note. Let's go ahead and make that a D. And so again, you can uh, add the grace note by selecting the grace notes that you would uh, on the left hand side of the palette and pick the one that you would like. And uh, you will be able to hear the grace notes in uh, the playback uh, if you have um, Muse Score 3 or above. So again, uh, that's how you can add the grace note. The uh, next thing you might want to do is if you want to uh, add another grace note, maybe have um, maybe you need two grace notes, you select the same one. And uh, you can, again, you're going to drop, drop it on the note uh, that, that the, the grace note will be attached to. And again, you're going to notice that a lot of these functions are similar to the notes function. So again, to change, I would just uh, click and then uh, move it up to uh, where I would like it. And uh, another thing you can do with grace notes too, let's say um, if you uh, didn't want a, an eighth note there, what you would do is go up to the top and let's say you wanted to make that a quarter note grace note, you just click quarter note and now you can see it made that a, a quarter note. And let's say I wanted the second grace note to be a quarter note, I could do the same. So you can change the value of the note by clicking uh, the value uh, up on the top when you have that grace note selected. To undo anything, you just control Z as in zebra. And so now we've got our uh, double grace notes. And then um, one more thing you might want to do is you might want to add a slur to your grace notes. Uh, if uh, the way you would like it to look. So the way you do that is you can go down to lines on the palettes and then you, have, you can grab the slur and then again just drag and drop it to the, the sl where you would like the slur to begin. And now you can see it's uh, got a, a slur that popped up there. Um, I'm going to zoom in for a second here. To uh, zoom in it's uh, just a control and then you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in. So uh, you can see that slur that was added, and it looks pretty good actually. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, but if you another way to add a slur, uh, if you want to delete it, you just uh, press delete, and select it and delete. And then if you want to add a slur, let's say to that note, you can just select it and then press S. So that's a shortcut way of adding a slur. And then you can drag the slur uh, and make it look however you would like it to look on the. Um, the uh, the score. So uh, each one of these uh, changes the look of the slur just a bit. Uh, to select the entire slur again, you just click on it, it will turn blue, and then you can uh, press delete. Um, let's say you had, um, one, if you want to delete um, a grace note, again, just select it, press delete. So let's say I've got one uh, grace note here. And let's say I'd like to change the distance between the grace note and the note that is written. You can go over to the inspector element over on the right hand side. If it's not there, uh, you go up to view and then inspector. You could also press F8 and then that'll bring up the inspector element and it'll tell you about the element. You can change the color. Um, let's see, yeah, you could change the color of the element if you would like. Um, I'm going to keep it black and then, uh, but I wanted to point your attention to uh, the spacing. So you want to go down to where it says chord and drop that down. And then you can uh, go ahead and increase 
the offset or decrease the offset. So you can see if I in, if I do that, now it's making the the uh, grace note further away from the note. And then if I press the up arrow, it's going to make the uh, grace note closer. So that looks pretty good. Uh, you can also change it by changing the number here. You could do maybe instead of 0.5, you could do 0.3. And every time I do that, it changes the distance between that grace note and the end note. Again, if I wanted a slur, I could just press uh, click on slur with it selected or uh, press um, S on the um, keyboard. And you can drag that around to where you would like the slur. One last thing, if you'd like to add an accidental to uh, the, the um, slurs that you're, or sorry, to the grace notes that you're creating, you can uh, select the grace note and then go up to uh, where you see the sharp sign and you could put a sharp on it. Or um, if you would like to put a flat, you can just click the flat. And again, that's how you can put an accidental on the grace note that you are creating. And uh, so those were the main uh, ways that you can add grace notes, delete grace notes, and then also add the slurs uh, to the uh, grace notes that you are creating in uh, MuseScore 3. You now know how to add grace notes to the music you are creating in MuseScore 3. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I have other MuseScore 3 tutorials available. I will put links to those around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.